The costs of living are at an all-time high. Transportation fares have spiked, electricity and gas tariffs are on the rise, and even the price of water has not been spared. Whining and dining yourself in this economy, even in the name of self-care, may seem like an extravagance. But when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, ideally to a restaurant helmed by a chef with some Michelin restaurant pedigree, without the Michelin star price tax. Here are 10 such places with meals averaging 50 Singapore dollars that guarantee maximum bang for your buck. When the sun sets, Bin Cho, a humble 80-year-old Kopishim by day, transforms into an izukaya. With its industrial greed and heritage charm, the restaurant in Mo Guan Terrace whisks you away to the cyberpunk s alleyways of Tokyo. It's like Alice in Borderland, but with more sake. The restaurant has been around since 2014 and was recently taken under the wing of chef Rishi Nalindra, who hails from Sri Lanka and worked in Australia for a decade before getting his big break in Singapore. With the one Michelin star Cloud Street and casual Sri Lankan restaurant Couture under his belt, Chef Rishi lends his culinary finesse and signature hospitality to Bincho's menu. If you're on a budget, don't sleep on their lunch set 48 plus Singapore dollars, which allows you to choose from mains including Lokitori Don, Tsukun Don, Barao Kairoshi Don, Anegi Don, and Salmon Ikura Don. Chef Rishi's Midas Touch has likewise secured his latest venture, Fool, a place on the Michelin Big Gourmet list for the second year in a row. It's got a cellar full of artisanal wines from around the world. But as you can tell from the name, this is no uppity wine bar. Instead, it proudly wears the label of an unpretentious and adventurous watering hole. Now, on to the grub. There's the Feed Me menu 99 Singapore dollars. A program where the chefs take the wheel, a law omo case, and a snacks tasting menu 33 Singapore dollars for the full, or should we say, full experience at dinner. Meanwhile, Thursday and Friday afternoons afford midday diners a golden ticket. Lunch sets are available from noon to 3 p.m. So if your descent into a food coma is inevitable, their latest masterpiece of handmade fettuccine bait in prawn hate butter may be worth the indulgence. Hortus is part of a trio of culinary ventures masterminded by chef Michael Wilson within Gardens by the Bay. Together with Marguerite on the ground floor and the pet-friendly gelato shop Milo. Formerly the executive chef of Poland, he backed his first Michelin star only five months after launching the French restaurant Phoenix in Shanghai. A meal at Hortus has all the makings of a perfect date. You not only get the royal treatment with a chauffeured right from the main entrance at Gardens by the Bay, but they also sweeten the deal with complimentary access to the flower dome. Within the largest glass greenhouse in the Guinness World Record, the restaurant serves mains ranging from 22 Singapore dollars to 118 Singapore dollars, if you're in the mood for a quarter of a rose Iberian suckling pig. Eating outdoors in this sweltering heat is a crime, but not when it's a blissful 20 degree climate at all hours. Penangite chef Meno Tever and Korean chef Sun Kim have a lot in common. And it's not just because they've both fronted Michelin star restaurants in the same neighborhood of Kyong Sik. The two have also been longtime pals, and what could be a more fitting celebration of their accolades and friendship than a southern Indian Korean restaurant? Pairing two distinct cuisines might raise an eyebrow or two. But at Tambi, they're more complementary than one would imagine. For starters, Fermented accompaniments such as kimchi, green chili uruga and pickled onion can be found in dishes such as pork belly kimchi nasi goreng, 18 Singapore dollars and oxtail bone marrow murtabak with pickled onion, 18 Singapore dollars. The melding of spicy and tangy flavors, a shared characteristic of both culinary traditions, is also on full display in the half-dozen Jerome Mayat specialty oysters with gojujang and raisin, 
addressing 38 Singapore dollars. Since we are on surprising couplings, it's the perfect time to introduce Miss Maria Mr. Singh, a Mexican Indian restaurant by Chef Gagon Onand. The original Michelin star restaurant was initiated in Bangkok just two weeks before COVID-19 hit Thailand in 2020. But not even a global pandemic could douse Chef Onan's fiery spirits, salsas and curries. In fact, he conceptualized a Singaporean outpost while serving quarantine, dreaming up a fictional love affair between a Mexican hometown girl and Indian city boy and eventually bringing it to life along Crate Road in 2022. In an interview with CNA Lifestyle, Chef Onand shared that he had set out to make Michelin star dishes affordable, which is why the most expensive item on the menu, Gagan's Crab Curry, is priced at a reasonable 32 Singapore dollars. An even greater treat for fans of MasterChef Singapore is their Mango Yuzu Snowball 24 Singapore dollars, a dessert the contestants were challenged to create in season 3. Chef Louis Barker clinched his first Michelin star for the European restaurant summer at the young age of 27, but his career began when he was a wee teen. At 15, he dipped his toes into the world of fine dining, working part-time at a spot called Anthony's in Leeds. By 16, he was cashing in his birthday wish for a meal at the swanky to Michelin star Lou Gavroche in London. Chef Barker didn't just stop at earning Michelin stars. He conquered two neighborhoods in a mere six months with Cafe Netsu, setting up shop in both Orchard and Ju Chayat. There's something about adding Japanese before brunch that makes you feel more virtuous than if you had started the day with, say, fried chicken and waffles. So, go on and dig into their sandals 26 Singapore dollars each, so men 16 Singapore dollars, and souffles 8 Singapore dollars, without a trace of guilt, and spy the occasional local twist that's seen in the Bandung Kokigori 14 Singapore dollars, an elevated ice ketchong featuring Sakura meringue and the beloved outside. Like Chef Barker, Chef Davide Giacomelli started as a 14-year-old kitchen assistant before cutting his teeth at a legion of michelin star restaurants across Europe, moving from Italy to Monaco and France. He kick-started his journey in Southeast Asia with Intercontinental Singapore's Global Chef Hunt, where he was handpicked from over a hundred chefs, no less, to establish Luce by Davide Giacomelli. Chef Giacomelli's reverence for fresh seasonal produce continues to be a hallmark of his creations on this side of the globe. Luce's menu spotlights signatures such as the Acarello Lobster 58 Singapore Dollars. A risotto crafted with carnaroli rice and loose misu 20 Singapore Dollars, a version of the timeless tiramisu laced with espresso syrup and chocolate. Like many of his contemporaries, Chef Heikel Johari led his team to secure and retain their coveted Michelin star at the acclaimed Spanish restaurant. Omar by one Amador. But what makes him both a remarkable professional and human being is that he achieved this feat while recovering from a motorcycle accident that left him paralyzed from the neck down in 2015. Fast forward eight years, Chef Heikel now channels his experience at French establishments like Joe Robichon and Les Amos into Alcove Bistro in Coven, serving staples like French onion soup, 12 Singapore dollars. 90 and duck confit, 23 Singapore dollars and 90 cents and distinctly Singaporean creations such as the smoked otter muffin, 10 Singapore dollars and 90 cents and ORH Ne Green Tea, 6 Singapore dollars. It appears the crowd at Lola's Cafe down the street are missing out. Though I may be biased, because I once got a Queen Amen on the house at closing time. Chef Andrew Walsh's career has taken him places from the Michelin star kitchens in the Big Apple to Poland Street Social in London, where he earned a Michelin star within six months, all while still in his 20s. The following year, he relocated to Singapore, 
making a mark in the local culinary scene with his one Michelin star Irish restaurant. Cure, and popular venues like Catfish and Butcher Boy. Club Street Wine Room, the latest addition to his portfolio, was inspired by his travels in Australia. The charming 45 seat bar is laid back without compromising on haute cuisine and caters to both inophiles and foodies alike. Expect an eclectic wine list featuring regions like Morocco, Lebanon and Israel, alongside hearty mains like pumpkin ricotta tortelli, 34 Singapore dollars and wood-fired grilled meats under 50 Singapore dollars. Chef Jean George von Jurichten needs little introduction, having married his michelin star repertoire with Eastern culinary sensibilities at five-star hotels in Thailand, Hong Kong and Singapore. But the attention to detail you'd expect from a world-famous chef isn't confined to the kitchen. Chef Von Jurichten has a reputation for being a hands-on restaurateur, meticulously overseeing every aspect from architectural design to staff selection. The Dempsey Cookhouse and Bar his flagship establishment at Como Dempsey is no exception. Within a monochromatic interior befitting of the neighborhood's colonial history, an open kitchen puts an Asian-European spin on locally sourced ingredients. Dishes such as the seared sea trout served with bok choy and ginger chili vinaigrette, 38 Singapore dollars showcase chef Von Jurichten's culinary duality, which can be savored as part of their three-course set lunch, 68 Singapore dollars.